Welcome back everyone from studio space to gallery representation. Creative growth offers disabled artists a valuable platform for self expression. Tom DeMaria and Tara Tucker from creative growth join me now. Thanks for coming on the show. Our pleasure. Well, this is amazing. Creative growth has been around for 40 years. Yes. How did this all get started? Well, it's amazing because just usually a few people make the difference. And we were founded at a time in California. It's a great Oakland story when California made a decision that people with developmental disabilities wouldn't automatically live in hospitals, so they deinstitutionalized big populations. And our founders put art making materials in their home in a garage in Oakland and said, well, these folks can come here and start to make art. That was six people. We now serve over 160 adults in our wow. Oakland studio and gallery. And you really give a way for them to express themselves. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's incredible to go there every day, um, see artists in a working studio. Uh, everyone is a very professional artist, um, and they take their work seriously, and so do we, and they're well represented with our gallery. It's, it's a wonderful thing to walk into a space and to see the vibrant uh, just happenings there. And it's you have great. many projects that you work on all year round, but you have a holiday project coming up. Our holiday show is up now and we have great holiday events throughout the Bay Area. We always do the Barney's store window in Union Square. Go see our artists it's there. It's amazing. We have products that we designed at anthropology stores. If you go to 4th Street Berkeley, you'll see us there. Aesop on Chestnut Street. These are all our artists really participate both as fine artists and also as commercial artists and uh, you know these folks also help support us at our center. How do the artists find you? How do they hear about this? Well um, they go through the region, uh, regional center of the East Bay mostly. Some people find us uh, through word of mouth um, or through family members that happen to know about us. Uh, they just need to have the desire to want to make artwork and be in uh, Kind of a large studio with lots of other people, um, and yeah, we we draw people through our community throughout. And the this year. is really great art artwork. We're showing, uh, we're looking oh, yeah. at some pictures right now of some of the artists uh, in motion. That's John Martin. Yeah, John's been working with us. He grew up in Oakland. He's been working with us for 25, 30 years every day. John sometimes will even uh, come to the studio on Sundays when we're closed because you know, for many of our artists this is their life. They've sure. really spent their whole life with us and they've often been institutionalized or marginalized and they come and we say, tell us your story. We want to hear your voice. We want to support you. They come for free. We give them the materials and it's amazing. When you give people the, a path to walk down, they run and it's, uh, the results are phenomenal. What does this do for them inside? Oh. Being able to express themselves in this way. They have so much joy um, and pride of ownership of the studio and um, I often hear them on their cell phones if someone calls them. I can't talk now because I'm at work. <laughs> I love it. And um, it's, yeah, they have just such pride. And you also have youth programs? Yes, we have a program for young people with disabilities on Saturdays for teenagers, which is great. It introduces them to art making and uh, allows them to be in a community of peers. And it also allows families with uh, teenagers with disabilities to have a, have a, a, a quality program for a Saturday. Sure. Monday through Friday, we serve all adults, 18 and above. How is the program funded? Privately is half of our funding, and then we get some money from the Regional Center State of California to serve people with specifically developmental disabilities. Um, a $2 million budget, we fundraise about a million. So you have some local support as well. And what about volunteers? Are you always looking for volunteers? Lots of volunteers. We have a staff of 20, 40 volunteers. All Everyone at the center, we're all artists, so our methodology is really supporting the, the creative act activities and really fostering uh, people's lives and voice through the arts. So it's not art therapy or uh, vocational program. Sure. So uh, we welcome people to come and see us. It's amazing what art can do and how it can affect so many people. So thank you for coming on the show and telling sure. us all about it. And for more information on Creative Growth, just log on to creativegrowth.org. Again, that's creativegrowth.org. Well, that's it for this week. We'll be back with more Bay Area Focus on December 28th. Have a great day, everyone.